Today we have part two of our special guest, Amanda. We had so much good stuff that we couldn't fit it into one Fun Fact Friday, so you're lucky enough, you get to hear part two. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday with Spry Worldwide. I'm Anne. And I'm Sarah. And this is our special guest, Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for joining us. Amanda is one of our Strive Worldwide students, and she is one of our student ambassadors. And one of the perks that our student ambassadors get to do is be a guest on our Fun Fact Friday. So Amanda is our very first student ambassador and our very first uh, Fun Fact Friday guest. So, so yeah, we about when you very first started Strive Worldwide, did you come all by yourself and already know how to do everything? Nah, I had Hannah. So you attended with support at the beginning? I had support. A lot of support. A lot of support in my homework and a lot of support in the beginning. And then a couple of years later, independent. How does that feel? It feels good to know that I can do it myself, knowing that I had support and know that I have people supporting me no matter where I am. Because mm -hmm. actually, even if I live alone in my apartment, I still have my parents for support out there because I can always ask them. They're always there for me. And all my supporters are there for me. How long have you been living by yourself? Uh, for a while now. Well, quite a while. Been a while. Long time now. A lot of, a lot of, it's been a while. How much have you been in Australia worldwide? Yeah, I actually moved in when I was still still doing Strive. I actually, mm -hmm. That's actually true. Do you think your classes helped you to feel more confident living by yourself? Yeah. And then when I, but then each, each week when I finish, when I finish, when I finish Zoom, my mom said, Amanda, how was your Zoom? Are you, are you doing, how are you doing? And then, it, and then I said, I'm good. I'm doing great. But also, oh. I was happy I had this opportunity because for me, I've been working on getting towards this opportunity, and I and and I just I scored. <laughs> I just got it on the dot. I did it. I only did it because I got one person actually involved, and now he's like he. He just loves it. That's awesome. When I saw him yesterday, he actually said to me, I love Strive. Good. I'm hearing that. What if we have folks watching and they want to hear about, they want to hear more about your experience? Can can we put them in touch with you? Is that yeah. something to do as an ambassador? Yes. Yeah. They can, because I can, if they have, if anyone has questions, they can always reach out to me and I can answer their questions because I just answer my friend's questions like, I, I, I just answer my friend's questions like I knew it from the top of my head. You're a bro. <laughs> yeah. You get paid um, to be an ambassador? No. Nope. Does anybody pay you to say good things about Strive Worldwide? No. <laughs> no. When you were telling your friend about Strive Worldwide and got him involved, what was the first thing you had him do? I had him I had him reached out to you guys. I think that Masaki came to a social first. Do you think it's a good idea for people to come and join a social to see if they like it? Yeah, yeah. I that that's exactly what I did because um because I knew I was an ambassador and at the last minute I I said to myself wanna come? Are you free? Wanna join? 
you want to join me? And then he said, what's that all about? And then once he heard what it was about, he, he said, his mom said, okay, you can go. Nice. You can get yeah. into our social on February 16th. Yeah. I want to invite everyone to join the social on February 16th. Do you remember what time we meet? Seven to eight. Yeah, that's East Coast time. So if you're yeah. in California or in the Midwest, that'll be a different time for you. Yeah. Does the social cost money to join? Nope. Just have to put your name and how many guests you want, and then that's how you get in. Oh, so you can bring friends too. Yeah. The more the merrier, right? Yeah. Do the classes cost money to join? Yes. Yeah. All right. In the Are beginning, you... in the beginning, when you register, you have to pay that amount to get into the program mm -hmm. does that money come yeah. out of your pocket or are you able to pay for that with your funding with my funding that i have yeah i have self-direction so that's basically what it is yeah every state is a little bit different but folks with self-direction or self-determination funds are usually able to pay for the classes with that Cool. So once the show show happens, what would be the next course for the for the next for the next unit that's I mean for the next seminar that's coming up? Good question. Good question. What classes happen after the social? So our class, we our next class starts on February 20th. Our evening class is personal safety. So that meets Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And our day class is self-advocacy and boundaries. And that meets Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Antonia. Thanks for joining me on this Fun Fact Friday. I hope you join me next week. Awesome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.